Diggy the Dog. What's good, football fam? You know who it is. It's your boy, Jay in the Bay. We got us a great Sunday night matchup between them good old Buffalo Bills and they're heading to good old Heinz Field, Pittsburgh Steelers. It's going to be a great game. We got a young up-and-coming quarterback in Josh Allen going up against the wily vet, Big Ben Roethlisberger, who could still throw that rock. I can't wait to see what comes to fruition. Now let's get into the game plan. Let's go. It seems like the Buffalo Bills are meeting the Pittsburgh Steelers at the right time. The Pittsburgh Steelers just lost their first game of the season to the freaking Washington football team. I mean, what a travesty that is. But also, the Buffalo Bills are 5-1 and one in their last six games. Now, they should be 6-0, and oh, but, as you got, but as everyone remembers, they lost that game to the Arizona Cardinals on the Hale Murray. But the Bills have been playing pretty well. I mean, they totally embarrassed my 49ers on Monday Night Football Prime Time. So the Buffalo Bills are riding high. They're playing with confidence. Josh Allen is looking like, you know, like a top five, top ten quarterback. I think the key to this game will be uh, can the Bills run the ball against the Pittsburgh Steelers? And also, can the Pittsburgh Steelers defense, can they get pressure on Josh Allen? Because Josh Allen against the Niners, he had all day to throw the ball. He was looking comfortable in the pocket. If the Steelers aren't able to get a significant pass rush on Josh Allen, I feel like he'll have a field day and he'll be throwing that rock. He'll be looking to the right and looking to the left. Josh Allen loves to throw to Cole Beasley and Stephon Diggs. So I'm eager to see how Pittsburgh secondary would be able to slow down uh, Diggs and Cole Beasley. Also, Joe Hayden does have a, a concussion he suffered in uh, the last game against uh, Pittsburgh's last opponent. So if he doesn't play, that would definitely leave a void in their secondary because he is uh, one of their better corners. And I'm eager to see how this plays out. The Pittsburgh Steelers running game this year has been quite putrid. Fast they ranked cow. 29th out of th 32 teams in running the ball. They only average about 92 yards per game. But for some reason, this still hasn't affected their points scored. Right now, they rank 7th in points scored with about 27 to 29 points scored per game. So that's obviously, that's pretty good. That's a top 10 scoring offense. And the passing offense has been 14. So they, they're not great on offense, but Big Ben, he's got 27 touchdowns and 7 interceptions. Clearly, he's still uh, playing at, you know, like a Pro Bowl level. And Pittsburgh Steelers, they do have, you know, weapons all over the field. They got Claypool. They got Washington. They got Ebron. They got Choo Choo. So it be interesting to see if Buffalo Bills secondary would be able to cover all those uh, receivers. Because Big Ben, when he has time in the pocket, he can throw that rock. The Pittsburgh Steelers have one of the best defenses in the NFL. They rank top 10 in these categories. Actually, top five in these categories. Passing yards allowed. Rushing yards allowed. Uh, points allowed. They actually rank number one in the NFL. They give up the least amount of points uh, through the first, what, 12 games of this year. So Pittsburgh's defense is no joke. And they're led by Minka Fitzpatrick, who's a ball hawk. You know, he leads the team with four interceptions. They also got the stud TJ Watt on that D-line. He's got 12 sacks this year. He can definitely get after um, the passer. The Buffalo Bills defense, uh, statistically this year, has been bottom 12 in points allowed, Passing yards allowed, rushing yards allowed, and points scored. But they did play pretty well against the 49ers on Monday Night Football. But I feel like they're going to get their stiffest test uh, against the Steelers because the Steelers have multiple wideouts. They got Big Ben, the Wiley O vet who can still tote that rock. So it'd be I'm eager to see how the Bills' defense and their secondary uh, attack the Steelers and if the Bills would be able to, to get uh, a pass rush on Big Ben. The Bills were able to pressure Nick Mullins, the quarterback on the Niners, on Monday Night Football, and I want to see if they can do the same thing. against The Pittsburgh Steelers do have some injuries on their defense, specifically Bud Dupree, who was second on the team with eight sacks. He'll definitely be missed in this game. And also Devin Bush, he's on IR. He's uh, their middle linebacker. He was um, one of their better tacklers on the team. But Avery Williamson seems like he's replaced Devin Bush's production. So we'll see how that plays out against the Buffalo Bills. Now let's get into the keys of the game. This would be a great matchup between two of the better teams in the AFC conference. I like the Pittsburgh Steelers, though, to win this game. Not only do they have a pretty good passing attack with Big Ben and his plethora of receivers, but... They also have one of the best defenses in the NFL, 
and I feel like Josh Allen will be challenged by this. Now, the Pittsburgh Steelers have the best uh, turnover differential in the NFL with a plus 11, and they also have created the most turnovers in the NFL with a total of 23. 16 uh, interceptions and 17 fumbles. And I feel like Pittsburgh will, will uh, make a way to blitz Josh Allen and make him feel uncomfortable in the pocket. Now, if the Pittsburgh Steelers do that, and they also score on their end on offense, I feel like the Pittsburgh Steelers will win this game 24-20. to 20, And this will be a close matchup, and I can't wait. Football fam, let me know what you guys think. Who you guys think has the edge in this game? Let a brother know. Y'all know it in them comments thanks for tuning in to your boy jay in the bay and i'll see y'all in the next one